everybody! So today I'm gonna show you what I bought this week with money that I don't have. <laughs> so I bought a lot of things this past week for whatever reason because I'm poor but you know I said I want these things therefore I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> so I listed some of the places I went shopping in the title so I think I'm gonna start with Sephora because I feel like that's what most people would be excited to see so let's just start with that we'll get that out of the way so I bought quite a lot of things at Sephora um I'll show you things I bought with my own money first but then I also got a gift certificate thing um I wear glasses in case you didn't know and I just recently bought more contacts and the brand of contacts that I wear they had a hundred dollar rebate thing that you can get after you spent money on contacts so I did that but instead of just like giving you cash back they give you a thousand points which equals a hundred dollars and they have like gift cards and other things that you can purchase so one of the things was a support card so being me that is what I purchased so first I'll show you things I paid for with my own money and then I'll show you the things that I got with that hundred dollar gift card because the things I bought with that card are stuff I wouldn't necessarily have spent my own money on myself, but since I had this hundred dollars and I wanted these products, I got them. So, anyways, I also bought these things during their VIB sale, so I had this came. <laughs> so the first thing I bought was the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, and I've sampled this foundation before, and I've really liked it. I know it's been kind of like hit or miss with people. I do tend to have drier skin but then when summertime comes it gets a little bit more oily even when I did have dry skin this foundation just really set well on my face I will say since it is a matte foundation I don't set it with powder just like under my eyes and all that stuff but I really like this foundation so during the VIB sale I finally bit the bullet and bought it because I was looking for a new foundation I knew I liked this one so I got it and I got it in the shade Porcelain because I'm white. If you hear noises over there, that will be my cat. She's playing in my shopping bags. <laughs> She's coming this way. Oh no. <laughs> hey. And the next thing I purchased for myself, and this is not a necessity at all. Um, I wasn't even going there to buy this, but I've been wanting it for a very long time. And I figured since there was a discount, I could finally get it. And that is the Becca Highlighter in Champagne Pop. I know so many people already have this one and they all really enjoy it and I'm just so excited. I really really enjoy this. I'm so glad I finally own this and I can't wait for it to now live in my makeup drawer so I can utilize it more. And then the last thing I bought with my own money from Sephora is the Sunday Riley Luna Serum. I've been in the market for a night serum and I've sampled this like three times from Sephora and like the samples they give you are pretty hefty so each time I got a sample it lasted me at least three weeks so I've had almost three full months of just <laughs> samples but so I had sampled it once and then I was too poor to actually buy it and so it had been a while so I sampled again to see if I really liked it but then I got a sample from Sephora in the mail of the Kiehl's serum like night serum that they had and I really really like that so then I kept that and then I got another sample of this to kind of compare the two and overall I do feel like I like this one better the killed one is still really amazing for moisturizing like it moisturized my skin so that'd be like a really really good one to have in the winter when my skin is like a desert <laughs> but um overall this one just did more for me like I feel like it did more for not just like oiliness or dryness it did more for like pore shrinkage and fine line shrinkage and skin tone evenness and so overall this was the winner so I finally bought it with my own monies. Okay and the next three things are things that I wouldn't have necessarily bought with my own money but I used the gift card to get. I'm sorry if everything just changed on you all of a sudden I got up to see if my camera was still recording and then I kicked it and I ruined everything. <laughs> I feel like this is cricket. Oh my god. Welcome to my jail. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> so I bought, went into us buying two things, but since I it was still in VIB sale by the time I was able to get these, I had some money left over, so I used it to purchase a third item. The first thing I bought that was completely unnecessary is the Too Faced Life's a Festival Peace, Love, and Unicorns palette, and this palette is totally unnecessary to have. 
Um, I wasn't gonna get this, but I swatched it when I was in Sephora one day and I'm like, oh god, those colors are beautiful. <laughs> and I justified getting this because one, I wasn't spending my own money. And two, I don't have any fun palettes. I just have like everyday-ish kind of palettes or like nighttime palettes. I don't have like any that have like bright fun colors. And being the festival and rave goer that I am, I haven't got to rave in months. <laughs> um, it's nice to have one that I can do like fun, funky looks for that. Cause before I was just having to try to get creative, usually using my Jaclyn Hill palette with like the purple and blue and green, but I don't really have any of these fun colors. So I bought this. And then I also bought, I went for the gimmicky palettes, guys, like 100%. Um, this, however, it's like, it's really pretty. I do really enjoy the colors, and I feel like I may have actually have bought this with my own money had I had more money. This one I would not have. Like, straight up, if I had to buy this with my own money, I probably wouldn't just because I couldn't use it every day. It's just a fun palette, but since I got it for free, I'm really excited to actually use this and play with it. This, on the other hand, I could use every day and do some fun looks with, so I would probably be more prone to purchase this with my own money over this. I will say, however, I have swatched these guys and like played with them. You can probably see all my smudge marks in there. And two of the shades in here are the exact same as two of the shades in here. Granted, I think the palettes themselves are very different, but I'm just going to swatch those two shades really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Like, if you have all of these palettes, you probably have already figured this out, but if you don't and you only have one or the other and you're kind of contemplating getting the other, they are very different. So I feel like you can still get both of them, but just know there's two exact dupe shades. So the first one I'm comparing is Artist Pass from the Unicorn palette and bubbles from the mermaid palette and you can see they're like the exact same color and like even when I swatch them they're the exact same color <laughs> they have the exact same effect I feel like they're slightly different and that one is more blue and one is more purple but do you need both of them no <laughs> they do the exact same thing and then the other shades that I noticed were similar is the shade Euphoric from the Unicorn palette and the shade Frosé from the Mermaid palette. Oh, what would you know? Those are the exact same colors. So I'm just gonna swatch them. They're kind of far apart, but you can see. These ones are like the exact same. They're pink with a gold shift to it. And they're very pretty, but you, like I said, you don't need both. But other than that, none of the colors are the same. So I think you could have both of these and get away with it, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> and then, so those are the things I wanted to buy with my gift card, but I still have like $20 left after um, using the discount from the VIB. So I got the Anastasia Dip Brow, and this isn't anything exciting, but I always use brow pencils, and I really enjoy their Brow Is pencil. Um, and I hear a lot of people talking about the dip brown, so I wanted to get it to try it. I got it in the shade soft brown. Don't know if this is going to work for me. I used the shade taupe in their brow pencil. I'm not using it today. I'm using the It Cosmetics Brow Power pencil <laughs> because I ran out of my brow is pencil. But I want to try this and just see if I like it. And like I said, because I'm just trying and I have no idea if I like it, I wouldn't have spent my own money on it. But since I could have just gotten it with this gift card. I did. And since we're on the trend of makeup, let's move on to my Ulta stuff. I didn't get very much stuff at Ulta, but this is a video showing what I bought this week, so I went to Ulta. Same here. I got a lot of like doubles of things, I realized. Um, so first off, I bought two sponges. <laughs> Um, so I've tried the Real Technique ones. My sponges were nasty. I just threw a bunch of them away. Um, but I like the Real Technique sponges and I've tried them before, but I've also heard the Morphe sponges are good. So I picked one of those up as well and I kind of just wanted to try both of them and compare. They had the this shape one of this one, but I wanted to try this one because I like this shape. I don't know. I feel like I don't need two of the same shape, so I got two different shapes. If that makes sense. And then I also got two different brow pencils um because I've heard good things about both of these and like I said I just ran out of my Anastasia brow whiz pencil and I'm too broke and cheap to go buy another one so I got two cheaper alternatives just to kind of see which one I like better between these two so I got the elf brow pencil 
all it's called. Cool. And neutral brown. And then the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Because I don't want like Taupe, typically. Two more things. Ah, there's a spider in there. <laughs> Why? There's a spider in my bag and there's still one more product in there. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'll talk about the product I did manage to get out there. And that was... The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I got it in the shade Fair, 15 Fair. Um, I've been wanting to try the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for a long time because I tend to have drier under eyes, and I've been using Tarte Shape Tape, and it's just too dry for me. Granted, I did use it today still, um, and I have tried some other good concealers but that one I've heard is really good for like dry under eyes and I've heard that this one is a dupe I can't tell you if it's a dupe because I've never tried the NARS one but I have used this one a couple times and I like it I feel like the coverage isn't as full as the Tarte Shape Tape but this is a good concealer and I need to play with it more so I can give a more opinionated review but from what I've used I liked it I'm gonna try and get this last product out of the bag without touching the spider because I hate <laughs> spiders I feel bad, oh, don't be afraid, don't attack me, I'm so scared. God, I feel like I'm on fear factor right now. Okay, one, two, three. Ah! Oh my God! <laughs> okay, I got it, but it was on here, and then the spider fell back in the bag. Um, We're gonna put him over there, and we'll release him back into the wild when I'm done filming this video. Okay, and the last thing I got at e.l.f. no, nope, Ulta, is the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner in Black is Black. I don't know if this is eyeliner that people have been talking about as being good, and I heard there's one from NYX too, but I couldn't find it. So I got this one. Uh, I'm trying to find a comparable one to my tattoo liner because I am poor and I'm trying to find more drugstore products that compare to my higher end products that I can use instead. So I would put all my stuff back in my Ulta bag, but there's a spider in there, so I'm gonna put this in my Sephora bag. So next, I think we'll do Target. Oh my god, I forgot I bought heavy things. Where's the Target? First thing I'm gonna show you is not in the bag, but I bought this this hat at Target because <laughs> it's almost summer and why not? I think this was a great purchase. It's been a while since I shopped at Target. I mean, like, since this shopping trip at Target, so I kind of forgot what's in here. So let's just look and see what Devin picked up while she was at Target, because I feel like, honestly, the possibilities are endless. First thing out of the bag of mystery is this K Bella Professional Detoxifying Intense Black Peel-Off Mask. So I bought this because I've never tried one of these black charcoal peel-off masks, but I've seen videos and they look kind of painful but um, I wanted to try it hopefully this one isn't as painful to go along with that I also bought these and I did use some a couple days ago and then threw the box back in the bag but uh, these work I know they work I've bought these before and then I just put them on my nose my forehead and my chin because that's where I get my blackheads and then I also bought this sheet face mask it is from Avatare and it's an even out face mask get the skinny on smaller pores because I don't want to shrink my pores <laughs> Um, it says it's a tightening, retexturizer, revitalizes the look of uneven skin, and it is a pore minimizer. And so out of all the sheet masks that were at Target, this one sounded the most like it needed my needs. So I'm on it. And because I can't stop buying Stranger Things shirts, I bought another one to add to my collection. I have two other ones, and now I have three. And there was another one there I wanted, but they didn't have my size. It was too big, um, and not in like the cute way either. <laughs> but this, on the other hand, is cute, and I like it, and I want to wear it. I might wear it today because it's kind of cloudy. This shirt just seemed appropriate for springtime, but this shirt seems more appropriate for today. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I bought a planner to put in my purse because I've been observing dental hygienist because that's what I'm trying to go to school for. I just dropped my application off the other day. A lot of the people that this lady was cleaning their teeth had one of these in their purse and I'm like, oh my god, you guys are geniuses. And they were just like full of all of the things they had to do. They were written down and I want to be that person. I want to be organized like them. So I'm going to use this and if I make 
appointments or plans with someone, I'm going to write it in here. So that way I don't double book myself. And the last thing I bought, which is the heavy thing, are these bookends. And it's a pineapple. It's two halves and together it makes a whole. And I bought those because I actually have, it's not just a random purchase. No, this is not a random Devon Target purchase. There are a lot of those. This is not one of them. I bought this because I have been looking for bookends because I have a lot of different journals that I keep out on my desk. And I don't want to keep them in my drawers because I kind of just clutter up my drawers. And so I've been wanting to put them on my desk and just put bookends around them so that they look cute. But I haven't been able to find the perfect ones because apparently no one has bookends anymore. And there's like one of a bike and I'm like, I don't ride a bike. Um, there's one of goats and like goats are cute and all but it's not my aesthetic. And then I found this and white and gold is totally my aesthetic. And you know pineapples are pretty cool too so I bought it. <laughs> Actually I'll show you this. This I did buy at Target. I bought at TJ Maxx. That's the only thing I bought at TJ Maxx, so I'm just gonna throw it in here now, but it is this Electric Dreams Bomb Cosmetics Handmade Soap with Essential Oils, and it smells like Rainbow Sherbert, <laughs> and I love it so much. I want this on my body. I want to smell this all the time. I wish you guys could smell this because it literally smells like my childhood in like a tub of Rainbow Sherbert. It's amazing. Um, I also went to Old Navy in search of yoga pants and I bought two pairs. First, oh, first pair I bought were these cute florally ones and on the back they have like this cute like mesh detailing. And I also just bought a plain pair of black ones which I'm wearing right now. And these yoga pants are amazing because they just like, they, they tighten everything up here. So like you can't even tell how big my love handles are. <laughs> They're great. Boogie, next. Oh my god, there's another spider. What the f Why are there so many spiders in here? <laughs> and why are they in all my things? Where'd you go? I wanna kill you. So I'm a little bit of a sweatshirt hoarder, but I don't have that many because I threw away a bunch of them a while ago because I didn't want to be that person anymore. But I miss all my hoodies and I only have three zip ups and one pullover hoodie. And the pullover hoodie that I have, the neck hole is too small and I feel claustrophobic in it. So I wanted to get another one and I figured why not just buy a Sug Life hoodie because I don't know, support the YouTubers. <laughs> And I wanted the maroon one, but the maroon one was sold out, so I bought this cool green one, and I have kind of been living in it. Even though it's starting to turn summer and it's kind of warmer here, not today, but it has been. Um, when I'm home, I'm literally wearing this hoodie. So, good purchase, Devin. I am going to talk about my Amazon products now, but before I do that, I got a new phone case. I got this phone case from Velvet Caviar. Uh, they have a lot of cool phone cases. They had a lot of marble ones as well as like other ones. Um, but I wanted this particular marble case because it was the most plain of all of them. And I wanted to be able to have a fun pop socket on there. And so I bought this pop socket from Amazon. That was my first Amazon purchase I'll talk about. I love pop sockets. And to go along with it, I don't have it with me right now because it's out in my car. But I finally purchased one of those pop socket holders for your car. So... When I have my music playing in my car, I can have my phone right here and I'd be like, oh, I don't like that song, and then just change it without potentially getting in an accident. Um, I do have a box full of other Amazon goodies, and I'm just going to start pulling things out and showing you. So, um, <laughs> I bought this, and it is a lint shaver, basically, and I have a lot of sweaters. I don't really need this so much right now because I put all my sweaters away. But I've been needing to buy it, so I just bought it. And it basically just sucks up all the lint balls that form on your sweaters that kind of make it look gross after you wash it and dry it. So I bought this to use in my clothes. I haven't tried it yet, can't tell you if it works, but um, there's that. Am. A poop ton of sheet masks. They had a pack of 16 sheet masks for like nine bucks. And so I bought them. They have all different kinds. I've already used two of them, so there's only 14 of these left. But the ones I, I've used, what did I use? I used a charcoal one and a citrus one. And so the charcoal one was obviously a detoxifying one and the citrus one was a brightening one. And then there's an aloe one, which is soothing, a green tea, which is firming, a snake one, but it's spelled snake. 
I want to try this one. That one's pretty funny. This one's a firming one. Um, platinum, which is also firming. Herb one, which is soothing. This pearl one, which is moisturizing. This white one. <laughs> it's white. <laughs> which is a brightening one. And there's a snail one, which I've heard snails, that's good for your face. So, it's regenerating. Royal jelly. Which I think is honey. Because <laughs> there's a picture of honey come on. So, honey is now forever known as royal jelly. <laughs> um, cucumber. Hyaluronate, which is probably hyaluronic acid. Because that's good for your face too. And I have this gold one. This Q10 one and an aqua one. I mean, I like sheet masks. I don't feel like there's really any bad sheet masks, so I'll take a good deal on sheet masks any day. <laughs> I bought a strap for my camera. I'm gonna open this so we can get a better look at it. But I took my strap off my camera because it annoys me when I'm trying to film, but I've been taking more pictures and I wish I had my strap on, but I don't wanna just put like the plain black strap back on. So I got this cute one and it's squishy so it's like comfortable and it's like that southwest pattern which I've been really into and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> um, oh my god there's a spider. I found it. <clears throat> got it. <laughs> I bought this Philips Sonicare Breath RX spray and this is something my dental, not my dental hygienist, one of the dental hygienists I was observing told one of her patients about this and it's basically a bad breath spray and if you didn't know most of the bacteria that gives you bad breath is on your tongue which is why you should brush your tongue I have a tongue scraper and that's what I've been using but this is an antibacterial tongue spray and so you literally just spray it on your tongue let it sit for a few seconds and it breaks up and eats away at that bacteria that's on your tongue that gives you bad breath and then you just take this thing and you just scrape it off and it's like the stuff that comes off your tongue is so gross and it's all like bacterial cultures <laughs> and so I bought this so I have nice smell and breath I also bought a new lanyard for my keys funny story about this so I had a galaxy lanyard that I had on my keys and I shut it that kind of lanyard was like the ones that had like the snap on at the top like up here it would have a snap this one doesn't have a snap but I closed it in my door and the snap shattered so then I just kind of tied it <laughs> back together but I needed a new one and I had put this in my Amazon shopping cart and forgot that I had done that so then I went out and bought a new one and the one I got is cute but I forgot about this one and I like this one a lot better so I bought this one so now I have two lanyards bought some pillow cases these are so cute. They have little succulents on them. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? Hold it the right way. Oh my god. And they just have like little succulents on them. And little cactuses. And they're just so cute and springy I felt. And I'm gonna put these on my bed today. I need to go get new pillows because my pillows are kind of gross. And the last thing I got from Amazon was this No Doubt record. This is my favorite album by No Doubt, The Tragic Kingdom. I love No Doubt. I was a No Doubt listener as a child. And this was always my favorite of their albums. And I just recently purchased a record player. And so I purchased this record to listen on it. Okay, we have reached the end. And by that, I mean I have one more place that I bought stuff from. And that place is me undies that's right i bought underwear <laughs> i've been listening to the jenna julian podcast a lot recently watching their videos and then also just listening to them while i'm like cleaning the house and one of their sponsors is me undies and they always talk about how amazing this underwear is i'm just tired of buying victoria's secret underwear because it's cheaply made you know it was probably made in a sweatshop of some sort and yeah, I always got their 7 for 27 so it wasn't that much money to me, but like originally they're like $10 underwear and like me undies, I bought a box of 10 so that made them $12 a pair. They're normally $18 a pair, but if you buy their bundle boxes they become less money per pair of underwear. And I wanted to try them and my initial 
idea was to open these for the first time with you guys, but it took too long for everything else to get here and I was impatient. So I already opened this and I've already looked at them and I've worn two pairs already. I'm wearing one of those two pairs right now and the other one is in my laundry. It's clean, but I don't feel like digging out to show you. So I'll show you these ones that are in here. And so basically when you order a box, you can either get just plain black adventurous which is like all their fun prints and all that or bold which is just gonna be like a bunch of bright colors and I chose the option of surprise me which basically would be a mixture of all three however I didn't get any black pairs of underwear which I was kind of upset about because I wanted at least a couple so I might just go buy their box of three underwear in black just so I have those and they also have a cool thing which I might do and it's a subscription service and you basically pay I think it's like 14 bucks a month which is four dollars off and they send you a pair of underwear each month and you can have it be random or if you don't like the pair that they're going to send you you can switch it with a different pair and zip. oh and you pick what style you want like um briefs boy shorts thongs bikinis i got bikinis because i like bikinis because they're comfortable but i'm telling you guys these are the softest underwear i've ever worn on my butt it feels like i'm not even wearing any thing on my butt because it's just so comfortable and no I'm not sponsored by me undies but I wish so it comes in a box like this and <laughs> excuse you sir there will be a pair of underwear right here for you to try and see if you like it and if you do you can proceed if you don't and it's not the right size you can send this whole box back and they will fix it for you and then you go to the next layer and it has these stickers like we don't open the bags if you open the bags you can't return it but I tried this pair on and I enjoyed it this pair that came on here is the one that's in the laundry and it was pretty cool because it had it said have a nice day all over in yellow blue and red and it kind of looked like the wonder bread logo because <laughs> it was those colors but i think that's one of my favorite pairs that i got but he's in the laundry and then um yeah, so. and then you open this and all of your underwear's in there so i'm just gonna show you my underwear if you don't feel like looking at my underwear you can click off now i'll see you later <laughs> So this pair is on top and it's cool because it has a bunch of smileys on it. I got this one which is all travel-y ish I guess. It's pretty cool. And then this one which kind of reminds me of like an Olympic swim <laughs> bottoms of some sort. Um, this one which has some fun polka dots on it. Yeah. This one which has a bunch of flags on it. This one with a bunch of ice cream cones on it. This one that is just blocky and it has some peace signs on it. And these ones which are just blocky and these kind of look like the ones I am wearing but the ones I'm wearing are green and red and black. But it's the same like pattern. And those are the ones I'm currently wearing. So those are all the underwears I got from me undies. Um, I would check them out if I were you and um, me undies if you're watching me. Okay, um, that's all I purchased. I think I purchased some more stuff since I have purchased this stuff, but I don't feel like figuring it out or finding it because that was exhausting. That was a lot of stuff that I've purchased. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Oh, I should probably inform y'all. I'm leaving this channel. <laughs> no joke, I'm kind of over this channel in the sense that I've had this channel for a long time and I keep like leaving it and then coming back and then leaving it and coming back and I kind of just want to be more consistent but I think in order for me to do that I just need to move away from this channel and create a new one altogether. I'll be doing similar videos that I have been doing on this channel like unboxing and my ipsies and boxy charms and things like that but I'm just going to also incorporate more stuff like things I want to do like creepy things like I got about like, ghost stories to tell and just I want to be more serious about this I want to do more videos of things that I want to do not just like quick videos that don't take very long to film or edit or upload like things that take a little bit more time too and I kind of just want to start over and do a fresh start so this video is going up today which is Wednesday um and I think my first video for my new channel is going to go up tomorrow on Thursday. I will link link that video or that channel at the end of this instead of like the subscribe button for this channel. I'm going to have a subscribe button for that channel 
so you can subscribe if you want to go there. There won't be anything up there yet, um, but you can go do that. I still have three more videos to put on this channel before I officially leave it because the way I want to format my new channel, it doesn't include those videos, but there's still videos I want to do, and it's like my April favorites and the Nipsey and BoxyCharm for May. So those will still be going up on this channel, so watch those. It's going to be that kind of same deal. I'll probably have the same spiel on those videos, and then at the end, instead of the subscribe to this channel button, I'll have the subscribe to my new channel button, and I hope you can go over there and follow me and support me and like me, because <laughs> I just want friends. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see y'all around. And, um, yeah, that's everything. Okay, bye.